Good evening. Welcome back to yet another episode of Gear Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I will be your host this evening. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we will be taking a dump together as a group. We're taking a dump. Of course, by that I mean an EDC pocket dump where I'm going to show you what I carry today. And let me get tripoded up here and we'll go ahead and get started with, uh, with the dump. All right. So we're tripoded up, and uh, according to my friend Jonathan, who's a subscriber, he says that tripod up or tripoded up should be my new slogan because I say it all the time because I film with a, a cell phone and a crappy tripod and I have to move the phone around a little bit before I put in the tripod, otherwise it won't film properly in landscape mode. Neither here nor there, but it is what it is. So let's get on with taking the dump. So let's start with... Um, I went out to dinner this evening with my wife and we took our, our young son with us, who's a toddler. We went out for a nice dinner, uh, had a great time, and I'm just gonna simply kind of, not disrobe, but start taking things out of my pockets and, and off my body and show you what I carried as my EDC this evening. So first and foremost would be what's on my body, and that is my watch. And this is a Casio G-Shock. The exact model number I'm not positive of, I'll leave a link in the uh, description for this specific watch uh, if you're interested. But I, I wore it simply because it matched quite well with what I was wearing. It's kind of a light tan grayish color. It has an analog as well as digital readout. It tells the date, tells the time. It's a watch, uh, nothing particularly fancy about it, but I like that watch quite a bit and so that's what I wore this evening. In my front left pocket, I carry one thing uh, always, and it's my cell phone, which I'm filming with, so I can't show you that. It's an iPhone 8S Plus. Not that that particularly matters, but that's what always lives in my front left pocket. Nothing else ever goes in that pocket. In my back left pocket, I carry nothing. I never have, actually. I'm right-hand dominant, and in my entire life, I have never carried anything ever in my back left pocket. It's just what it is. Don't know why, but that's been the way, it, the way it's been for over 30 years. Um, so moving on to the right side, in my right front pocket, down in the pocket itself, I have three items. The first being my beloved Altoids Arctic Mints. I like those quite a bit. A uh, cheap lighter. And uh, this is something I don't always carry. It's not a standard EDC item for me, but it's a, just a small pill container. I had a pretty gnarly headache earlier this afternoon and, and threw a couple ibuprofen in there just in case uh, the headache decided to come back while we were out at dinner. So that's what was in my front right pocket, those three items. Uh, clipped to my front right pocket is my EDC knife, which today was the CRKT Crossbones. I like this knife quite a bit. Um, it's kind of a gentlemanly folder. Uh, it's super lightweight. I think something like two, two and a half ounces. Pretty thin. Um, although it does have a very capable three and a half inch uh, blade, which is nice. Uh, but kind of classy looking. I like the design. It runs on bearings. And uh, they cost about 50 to $60. And the reason I carried this knife tonight specifically is that my my dad and I were talking via text and he was in the market for a gentleman's folder, uh, something he could take to church and things like that. And I, I said, I sent him a link actually, I, I sent him a link to this exact knife and said, you should check it out. And uh, his response was, uh, Sean, I actually have that knife and, and you gave it to me. And so I had forgotten that I had, I had given him one of these at some point, so he already owned one, but just having that conversation with him and, and sending him the link got me thinking about the knife, so I grabbed it out of the cabinet and chose to carry it as my EDC this evening. Moving on to the fifth pocket, or the coin pocket, I carry three things in my coin pocket. And I'm a pretty big guy. Uh, I'm about 6'4", 250, uh, kind of built like a linebacker, I guess you could say. And so I wear like 36 to 38 waist pants uh, 34 inch length and so the dimensions of my pockets might just be literally larger than than some other people's and so I I can 
potentially fit more in my pockets than some people might be able to. So in my coin pocket, the small little watch pocket, I have three items. The first being chapstick, which I generally carry, especially this time of year. This particular chapstick is made by a company called O'Keefe's. It's made in America, uh, you know, all natural ingredients type of thing. Um, and I was recently turned on to this by my friend Jonathan, who's a subscriber to the channel. Um, and he asked me to give it a shot, and I have to say I've been converted. I, I use Burt's Bees for the last 10 years probably, but what I love about this particular chapstick, and I realize I'm about to go on a, a chapstick aside, which I never thought would happen in my life, but what I like about it is the shape of the uh, tube itself. It's this oblong shape. And so if you set down a tube of chapstick, your standard cylindrical tube of chapstick, if the surface is in any way uneven or, or not level, it's just gonna roll. And so I like this oblong shape uh, that's, that's not prone to rolling. In addition, the, the kind of twist you know, piece on the bottom where you advance or retract the, the bomb itself, it's protected on two sides, which I thought was interesting because on Burt's Bees, this wheel is fully exposed and many, many times I have had negligent discharges of chapstick where <laughs> carrying it you know, all day long, that wheel would just be, be spun just by bouncing around in my pocket and I would have all the, the lip balm smashed up into the cap of the, of the chapstick itself. And so good design, I like it. It's got a kind of a minty scent, I guess, kind of like Burt's Bees, but it's it works really well. So that's my chapstick. Next to it in my in that same coin pocket is my comb. Again, to keep my beard in line. And it's the same Kent brand comb that I showed in my last EDC video. And lastly, in that front coin pocket is my EDC pen, which this evening was the uh Zebra F-301 Compact. This is the one that I showed in my pen video that I posted a couple days ago uh, that just pulls apart and becomes a full-size pen. And I carried this simply because, A, I knew I was gonna have to sign a bill uh, for the check, you know, at the end of the meal. And also because I had just done a video on EDC pens, I, uh, I'm kinda gonna be on a pen kick for a few weeks, I can just tell, um, because I did that video and so, I carried a pen this evening. Moving on to my back pocket, my back left pocket, I carry two things. The first being my wallet, nothing special, a cheap dollar, not dollar store, Walmart, fake leather wallet, nothing too exciting about it. It's a bifold, um, it's relatively thin, and that lives in my back right pocket always. And next to it is my EDC flashlight which tonight was a Streamlight Protac 1L 1AA. I've talked about this in a previous video on flashlights. Love this light, runs on either a AA battery or a CR123. With the CR123, which I have in it, it's gonna put out 350 lumens, um, which is plenty. Um, it was dark out when we left the house, and so I wanted something a little more substantial. So I carried that. And it rides again in the back right pocket with my wallet. And so this is kind of what the back right pocket would look like. And believe it or not, and it may be contrary to what a lot of people do, um, people tend to carry their lights in, in front pockets, but I actually prefer oftentimes to have it in my back pocket. And it just sits just like that. And uh, I've never once pulled my wallet out and had the flashlight accidentally fly out with it. Um, it's quite secure and it's not uncomfortable whatsoever. Um, I'm not actually sitting, I'm sitting on the wallet, but I'm not really sitting on the light. It kind of, it's far enough to the right that it's, it's not directly under my ass, uh, for lack of a better word. And so it's actually quite comfortable to carry in the, uh, the back right pocket along with my wallet. Um, with that said, the only two things that you can't see again are the, uh, phone that I'm filming with and my EDC firearm. Again, as I've mentioned, I'm brand new to YouTube. I know YouTube is not gun friendly, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, and I just don't know enough about the rules and regulations as far as content uh, related to firearms. I do plan on, on doing some firearm related videos in the future. I, I could 
provide a ton of content uh, on firearms based on my experience and collection and, and things like that. But as far as EDC for this evening, I was carrying my MNP Shield uh, nine millimeter. It's a eight round magazine appendix style up front in addition to a spare magazine in its own separate Kydex holster. Also a Penix style. My firearm is on the right side of my belt buckle and my spare mag is on the left side of my belt buckle. So they, the holsters actually touch the belt buckle itself. So they're both right up front, which is where I prefer to carry. Um, I carry my Glock 19 that way and I carry my shield that way. Occasionally, once in a blue moon in the winter time, I might carry outside the waistband um, concealed. But for the most part, it's Penix style, and uh, that's my EDC for this evening. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and, and you're a first-time uh, viewer, please do subscribe. Uh, like the video. Uh, give me a comment. And uh, we do have a giveaway coming up here pretty soon, so definitely want to make sure you get in on that. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll talk to you on the next video.